Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of April 11 to April 17, 2022. I'm going to be taking a look at your energy, Taurus, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's see what your energy is for the week. All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Taurus in regards to love for this week. First card, we have three of wands, three of swords in reverse, eight of swords in reverse, knight of swords, justice card in reverse, seven of wands in reverse. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have ten of cups. Okay, strength card is here. Strength, three of cups, and the moon in reverse. There's a distance, like an energy of distance here. Um, for some of you, it's a long, long distance relationship. Let me figure out what this five of cups is. Tell me about that five of cups spirit. Page of Wands in reverse and the Four of Wands. There's an energy of disappointment here. Um, some of you feel rejected by this person. What's the Three of Wands? Fool in reverse and the Devil card. Okay, so some of you feel rejected by them. Hmm. How is a Taurus seeing this person? What is their view of this person's spirit? Page of Swords in reverse, the Lovers, the Four of Swords, the Four of Pentacles in reverse. There's like a silence. I feel like there's a lot of silence between you two. A lot of kind of mysterious energy, unknown energy. I feel like that's what's really kind of troubling you, the, the energy of just not knowing. Not knowing what to do next or not knowing where to go from here. Almost you, It's almost like you feel stranded. This person, I don't understand if this person like walked away from you or like broke up with you there's a big emptiness and a big void and like a big energy of silence and quietness and almost like again this energy of what do i do next or what where do i go next where do I go from here? Should I move forward or should I move backwards? It's like, what's the truth? 
What's the Knight of Swords spirit? Queen of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Some of you want to kind of um, fix an issue here with this person. I believe that's what you want. I'm trying to figure out what, what is it that you want. Why is the justice in reverse? Tower card and the nine of pentacles. Yeah, it's, a, it's an energy of you being single or feeling single. But it comes with the tower card. So it's like you didn't expect to be in this situation that you are right now. You thought you would be, you know, happy and in a in a happy relationship but I feel like something just kind of came crashing down with the tower card and broke your broke the the fantasy here with the ten of cups broke the the illusion that you had that things were going to be perfect, that things were going to um, flow easily. And instead, there seems to be um, an emptiness here. A disappointment, an energy of disappointment. It's like it wasn't what you expected to happen. You thought this person would would feel the same way that you that you feel. This might be like an energy of unrequited love also. You might feel like this person is not reciprocating your feelings. Or at least that's not, they're not acting that way. They're not demonstrating that to you. What's the, um, they might be with another person also with the Three of Cups. I do feel like you're, you're getting hit. Like your heart has been hit. Could be that they're with somebody else, they've connected to somebody else. I also feel like your self-esteem for some of you has been hit. I think you thought this person cared about you more than, more than what they've shown. What's the, the strength card? It's like an energy of feeling unloved or feeling um, taken advantage of for some of you. What's the strength card? Queen of Swords in reverse and the World card in reverse. Yeah, you do feel, you still feel an, an attachment to this person. You feel unfinished business with this person. But the Queen of Swords is in reverse here, so it's like... Um, It's like you know you shouldn't. You know you shouldn't have feelings for this person. You know you shouldn't keep thinking about this person. Or like, you know, focusing your energy on this person. But it's like you can't help yourself. There's an energy of like a lack of closure type of energy. Or like feeling, just feeling like a lack of clarity in regards to them and in regards to their decisions and actions. Almost like if you want to hear why, or you want to know about why, why they took the decision that they took or why they did what they did.
you might feel like something here was unnecessary like this separation or distance was unnecessary is unnecessary yeah it's like the ten of cups everything everything needed is 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 here in regards to having a happily ever after with this person you might feel like there's no there's no need for for this not to manifest or not to happen you might feel like it should happen like all the ingredients are all the ingredients are are present Almost like you offered everything to this person. So it's like, what else could could you offer? You know, what else do they want? You offered everything you could possibly offer. So there's an energy of like of rejection here and you kind of feeling a little bit confused about it, I think. Let's take a look at your person, see what's going on. Spirit, angels, and guys, show me the energy of the person Taurus is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. First card is the Seven of Swords. Okay. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Two of Wands in reverse. The Sun could be a Leo that you're dealing with. Ten of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. At the bottom of the deck, we have Queen of Wands in reverse. Could be a fire sign. Okay. Um, tell me about the Seven of Swords, Spirit. I do feel like this is someone who was expecting you to chase them. Which is weird. They also have the Three of Wands like you have. Hmm. I think this person felt like you were too passive, Taurus, for some reason. They wanted something specifically, like specific from you. You might have offered them everything except what they wanted, except that one specific thing that they wanted. I don't know what that is. Because I feel like this is someone who has very... Um, specific demands, you know. I feel like they, they want this pentacle, this knight of pentacles, this pentacle that this person's carrying, like something to kind of reassure them or to some, something to... Um, to make them feel like it's 100% guaranteed. They want to they want to receive a 100% guarantee from you. Whatever that means, I don't know what that means. 
they don't trust. They don't trust you or they don't trust this situation. They feel like it's not in their best interest. They feel like it's not. It's not something that makes them feel secure. They want something physical from you or like like a phys physical action from you. They don't want to know about or your feelings or like they don't want to hear about your feelings. They want you to prove yourself or and demonstrate your your feelings through physical action or like a physical offer. It's almost like this is someone who needs to see see it to believe it. They don't believe in words. You know, they don't believe in declarations, uh, verbal declarations. They they believe in evidence, in proof, in physical proof. This is someone who wants you to do something specific. They might not be communicating to you. Um, for some of you, they're just not. They're not communicating to you exactly what it is that they want, and that's what. And that's what's creating an issue here. That's what. That's what's making things fall apart because. You can't read them, their mind, you know, they're expecting you to be a mind reader, basically. I do feel like this is someone who wants to be in a relationship with you, Virgo. But they're expecting a lot from you, and I feel like they're demanding a lot from you. Which, again, they might not actually be communicating to you. They're more so expecting you to just know. There's an energy of, if you don't do this, then I'm not going to risk it. I don't know what that means, but that, that's the energy of, like, if you don't do this, or if you don't offer me this, or if you don't, like, show me this... Um, prove to me this, then I'm not going to risk being with you. That type of energy. It feels very irrational, I want to say, especially with the Nine of Cups being here. Nine of Cups in reverse, it feels a little bit irrational. Their attitude and their kind of their point of view, their mentality. Definitely the nine of cups in reverse can be a little bit of a, a spoiled brat type of energy. Emotionally immature type of energy. This is someone who doesn't compromise. I feel like they're not, they're not really the compromising type. They're more, they're more of kind of the lazy type, I feel, and they're more of like, you know, um, you have to do this for me. It's like they do a lot of requesting. They, lo they do a lot of requesting, a lot of... Um, a little bit dictator, dictator, dictatorish. Yeah, kind of, kind of like a dictator type of energy. Very much stuck in their ways and stuck in their, in their way of seeing things and the, in their way of thinking. I don't, I don't feel like this is someone who's going to budge, Taurus. It's like they're. They're determined to get their way type of energy. And if they don't get their way, they're not going to um, engage with you in any way.
So again, I feel like their their mind is very kind of focused on one specific thing that they want. Or they want they want you to give them or they want to see from you. Um, and it's like you can give them you can give them ten different things and they don't want it, you know. It's like it has to be their way type of energy. All right, I hope this made sense to you, Taurus. I'm going to continue in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at what exactly are this person's real feelings for you, what are their intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.